Heyo duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another stream up video and now is the first product that we're going to release for the OBS stream up plugin. It is Polaroid Picture 2.0 and you know it's made with love by Andy Lippy. So if you want this effect, it's got the new peel out effect as well. Check this out. Oh, damn. I know it looks... Honestly, you guys have been wanting it for some time now. I've been holding on to it because we've had all this coming out. If you don't know about the Stream Up OBS plugin, then check out the video in the description down below. I'll leave it up here as well, probably. But check that out first. Get it installed. And then it's going to be so easy to install this effect, all right? Anybody can do it. Awesome. Let's get into it. Put your rock for the stone. Right, as always, first things first, there are a couple of prerequisites you are going to need. This only works for OBS Studio, um, so unfortunately, slobs, you can't use it just to get that out there so you're not commenting it. We need to jump to the Stream Up website just here. You should see it on the latest products just here, or you can press products at the top, just in the middle, right here, and you should see it down under effects we should have it just there it's not obviously live on the website right now for obvious reasons the other thing you'll need is the obs plugin as well at the top here go to the obs plugin you can view the video about it just here that i mentioned earlier and you've also got it for windows mac and linux this effect is only going to be working for streamer bot right now as it's going to be on a one month exclusive just for um streamer bot so you can only really use it for windows so get that downloaded and installed again check that video out there that'll show you how to install it if you're unsure once we've downloaded the stream up polaroid picture and everything like that we've got a zip file so we need to put this wherever we want it on our computer and it's got to stay there okay so if you move it around after installing then obs is going to lose the the file path but any of the effects the uh the media sources everything like that it will lose that file location so wherever you put it Make sure you leave it there. So something that I'll probably do is have a little thing in documents and I might just call it uh, stream up effects or something. So create a folder and just call uh, stream up stuff or something like that. Jump into there and we're going to paste it in here. And then we're just going to extract everything. So extract it all and we're just going to extract it into here. And then we can actually delete the zip file. So it's kind of going to put a folder in a folder just here. We can obviously move it if we want to. So if we cut that out and then we, we paste it here or something like that, it'll replace that. And then it'll just be rather than having a double folder, it'll be just there. So we've got all the instructions. Double click here. That was going to take you back to the download page because all the instructions are on that page as well. We've got the stream up file. We've got the resources. Uh, we've got the stream up bot install as well and the download and install these first. So guess what we do first? We download and install these. We make sure we got the freeze filter. We open that up, hit download. Oh, look at that. There's a video there to help you buy some handsome chap, Andy Nippy or something like that. He'll help you out on that one. And you do that for the all of these even if if you've got them installed already make sure you reinstall them because they might have been updated in the time that you last installed them so just make sure you just re-download them and install them again and just do the same for each one of these just here uh the stream of obs plugin as well and just make sure you get all them installed make sure obs is shut whilst you're doing that so once that's all done we can open up obs so we crack open obs just here and we've got just my standard just chatting scene that i've got going on this is all my scene list there's lots of them that's just how it is and then we're just going to go up to tools and we're going to go down to stream up if you don't see stream up it means you've not installed the plugin correctly jump back a step and obviously get it installed just there so i'm going to press stream up and then we're going to go and navigate to the folder that we created so mine was in documents and then we made one called stream up stuff and we've got stream up polaroid picture in there and open this polaroid 2.0 stream up page so we're going to open that up and it should create a scene in the bottom left in your scene selection so we've got stream up effects polaroid picture 2.0 We'll switch that scene and it'll just be completely blank. It'll look like there's absolutely nothing there at all. There is one thing that we need to do in this scene to get it all set up. And this is this bottom one here where it says stream effects, Polaroid picture, uh, 2.0 camera. We need to select what camera we're going to be using. So I need you guys to get in the habit because we're going to make in a lot of effects and things like that. So you only need to do this once pretty much. You need to make a scene. So if I go to this in Logitech C920 scene here, 
This is just a blank scene with just my camera on. So the camera is in its own scene. This is a nested scene, okay? Uh, and it's just better to do that. It's going to be a lot easier to install all our stuff. And it's going to be easier when we put effects on things. Because it's not going to damage your actual input source. So if you're using this camera for something else. So uh, for instance, when that picture came on, the picture was in freeze frame. But I was still able to use the camera. So it'll allow you to be able to use a camera at two times, which is pretty cool so just create a, a scene and put your camera in there as standard and then go back to polaroid picture and we're going to double click on the camera and go to source and we're just going to navigate to the scene that you created so i like to name my scenes with a little prefix so i know that they're scenes uh, i've got in logitech c920 and i'll select that it will just come up as a blank uh, screen for now that means you've done it fine because the the uh, picture's turned off because it fades in so we're going to press ok and that's it obs is all set up good to go uh, we need to open up streamer bot next and get that installed so we'll open up the the file path and we'll go to streamer bot install double click on that and we've got a text file here you can either open it and copy the the text in it or you can do this nifty little method in streamer bot right click on the actions and press import jump back to your folder and what we can do is just drag and drop it in import string just there you should see stream up bitfx polaroid picture 2.0 and we just press import and then when i do the drop down menu here under the stream up effects you'll get this little um, selection obviously we're going to be creating a lot of things for you guys we're, we'll pop that open and you'll see polaroid picture 2.0 and we've got all the commands here. We don't need to worry about any of this. This is just all automatic. Like this is just all gonna happen. You don't need to edit anything. It should work straight out the bag. Do make sure you're on version 0.1.3 and StreamerBot is up to date. Otherwise you might run into some issues. Next up, we need to create a channel point reward. So we just go to the channel point rewards section. We right click and we press add. We give it a name. So I'll say take a photo like that we put how much we want it to cost i'm going to say 500 channel points make sure you tick the user input required box uh, and the prompt is uh, have a three second countdown you can put anything you want this is to show the people what it's going to be what's going to happen have a three second countdown and then take a photo of me or do whatever you want. You change the color of the channel point, all that jazz. This is all up to you how you want to do this. Just at the bottom, go to action. On the drop down list, it should be right at the bottom because you've only just added it. Stream up effects Polaroid picture 2.0. Select that, press OK. That's going to create that channel point as you can see just here, which is lovely. I'm just going to zoom out, jump back into OBS, and you'll see a new channel point. Take a photo has arrived just on there. So now, I press take a photo. I'm just going to put in hi, like this, select it, and it's going to take a photo, it's going to fly on screen with a message that the channel point had just there, and then it will fold out with that super sleek animation. Right, so I jumped into a bug then, uh, something actually happened, so it might happen to you as well, it might just like not do the animation out, it looks like there could be an issue with um, the move value filter, I'm going to pass it on to Exceldro, but if we go to group and press filters, you'll be able to go to MV corner pin off, and then just make sure that this is unticked on the uh, corner pin off. And also do it to reset as well. Make sure both of them, the, the single setting is turned off. That'll make sure that it does work. So now when I go to my channel points again, and I go down to take a photo, just here on the left, and I go, uh, hello again. You guys will probably see I put the wrong thing on. That's the kind of guy I am. And then now it should work absolutely fine. Um, yeah, that's that's the story of my life, that face. That just Things not working. But there we go. It's got the cool animation out as well. So now we need to add it to your scenes, whichever one you want to add it to. So I'm going to go to my just chatting scene and I want to add it to this scene just here. So I'm going to do that by just, whilst we're on the scene, press the plus on the sources and we're going to add a scene. Again, creating another nested scene. And we're going to scroll down until we get to the Polaroid picture 2.0 scene. Press OK. I've said the word scene a lot 
and we're just going to press the lock as well so it's locked in place and then now when we go and do take a photo say cheese does the countdown on this scene and all the animations happen right here right now how cool is that and then it'll animate out as it did previously and bob's your uncle like i say just make sure you do not move that file location otherwise obs will basically come up with an error message saying we cannot find these files obviously you can redirect the folder as well but just for your own sanity just don't move it at all we have got other things coming there's a special video coming tomorrow that kind of kind of joins this really really well you guys might have seen a little uh, easter egg i put in this video and in the product so you might see what it is. It's exciting anyway, so make sure you are subscribed because there's a cool another step you can add to this. All right, guys. So if you want to support me, these content takes me a while to do, then consider joining Patreon or joining the channel memberships below here on YouTube. Or if you want to support the Stream Up project, then consider joining their Patreon and even just donate a little bit towards the creations that we make. We don't pocket anything as the developers. We are literally just holding all the, the funds to further advance Stream Up like we have done with the OBS plugin. All right, guys. So, see you in the next one. Put your rock over the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.